YouTube, this is the Big Face Trucker. Now, I know I was coming back to you about uh, getting with you all about this bumper, this, uh, doing these, the inserts for the fog lights. And uh, this is probably for somebody that's going to probably try to do this and having a hard time. Uh, it, gave me, it gave me a hard time. So here, I'm going to show you what was holding it back, most of all. All right, first of all, you know, you got these bolts underneath. It's going to take a star. All right, uh, to take those out, but most important, you see the inside right there. All right, the old is not going to look like that. What the old is going to look like, uh, I can't find the part that came out of there that I could explain. Well, let me look on this one. Uh, oh, I didn't even take the cover off. So basically, what I'm trying to do is that the fog light goes in there, right? I was going to try to cut that out nice and everything, but it's not going to work because the, 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 the fog light holes actually goes in first. Then the fog light goes in and it seals nice and flush with the cover. Well, these are not going to be like that, so... They made it that you have to buy them, so I have to order them. Now, am I going to ride around with the bumper like that? It's a good possibility if I'm doing a short short run or whatever. It is what it is. Um, but on the inside here, right? Let me get right to it. You're going to see this from the inside. And you're going to have to have a drill, all right? And it's all riveted. So, you drill this hole out, rivet that, all right? Then you're going to have to drill the rivets. Let's see. Not, these were screws. There's rivets up here. Behind here, there's little uh, plastic uh, things that holds this in. That holds this, the uh, cover on. So... There's a couple of rivets that you have to drill out in order to separate both pieces. And that's where I'm at right now. So I'm actually putting this side back together. And I might do the side, you know, set it up like this and everything. And get the, uh, start making my harness for the wires. And uh, wire the truck up. I won't do that tonight, probably tomorrow. If I put the bumper back on, I might have to do a load. I don't know. I could take another day off, I think, and finish this off and get it done right. Um, tonight, I will order the inserts. For now, I might try to cut those out and see how it looks with the fog lights in there. And uh, see how it looks, how deep they're sitting back in there or whatever. But I will get the right thing and, and do it the right way. And I could put those uh, covers on top in, in there while it's on the vehicle, while it's on the truck. And keep keep it moving like that, you know. Now, I've seen guys put fog lights in these holes. I guess they use this structure and they tap into that and put their light, sit their light in there. I've seen a guy have one here. And he had a bar here where, you know, the uh, braking system thing goes there. He had a bar here and he had a fog light here and a fog light there. And this is just the upgrade. So I'm going down the highway. These Georgia back roads have no lights. Everybody's riding with their bright lights and shit. So I don't want to be blinding people, but I don't want to have to hit my bright lights to let people know I can't see. So if my lights is, uh, you know, doing, doing its job, I don't have to turn my bright lights on just because somebody else got their bright lights on. I don't want to do that because the way things are going now today, boy, you flash somebody and it blinds them and they get a fit and shit and they sitting on the side and they got a gun on the side and they do a U-turn and they follow your ass because they mad. You know, they mad because they ain't getting a check or something like that. 
or they pissed off because politics ain't going their way or something like that. And next thing you know, you got a shootout. But anyway, all right, this is um, a real quick video. I'm going to finish. I'm going to I'm probably going to put the other side on and uh, get a good feel and get a look at and, 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 and bolt everything up. Yeah, I had to I had to drill I had to drill out the rivets that hold this uh little plastic um cover right there. That's for you know rocks and shit like that that hit so it won't hit your oil pan and stuff like that. So yeah, I had to drill those two out and drill out the inside one inside here. And basically it just started breaking up coming apart, man. I was I was prying on this and everything, and I scraped this up real bad. But I know what will uh, put the uh, put the color back in it. I know what will put the color back in it. But other than that, you know, I should have like really took care of it. But I plan on having a pure black bumper. All right, and they're lucky that uh, they're lucky that I don't have no spray around here. But I'm definitely going to experiment on this, and I'm going to paint this black and uh, see if it's durable by, you know, get that rubberized one. And if that's the case, I'll tape off the front, and I'll spray it and have a black bumper. And then I might do the whole, the other flarings around the truck. It all depends. Because it actually makes the truck look lower all right it gives it that low that low riding look so yeah that's where i'm at everybody so if you're doing this project right just be patient with it look carefully and everything it can be done like if you want this uh this rubber molding on top right here you're gonna have to drill out you gonna have to drill out all these rivets to get this rubber molding and then you might have to put uh, uh, nut and bolts in there. They're not even all of them, just every one, you know, uh, to get that done and keep put keep that rubber molding on there. But other than that, you know, we're gonna see how this is gonna turn out. Um, the wiring part, uh, I went and brought my harness and everything, so I'm actually gonna do it while it's off the truck so when i put it on the truck the wires are nice and tucked on the bumper and everything and uh and uh you know p tied and all that other stuff all the way and then i just put it put it on the truck and there i have the loom and i can run the loom inside the inside the truck but uh this is going to be nice. It should turn out nice, I hope. And, uh, and I got to get a chance to send out my uh, LED passenger side light. Uh, they sent the wrong ballot. So I haven't got a chance to go up to the... I went up there to the uh, post office and the post office had a line out the door. I got to get there early in the morning. So that'll probably be my first thing to do first thing in the morning. But right now I'm here in the in the in the raggedy garage, assembling my bumper and and uh, doing my fog lights. I'ma holla at y'all. Peace.